about to attempt the biggest haul I've ever done on this channel. Hello, you are watching Tulip Swift. The last haul I did was in like November and it was on the books I bought in July and August. So I'm about to haul September, October, November, December, January, and most of February. So that's like half of a year worth of books. I feel like it's gonna be fun for us to catch up and just like go through all these. Stay tuned. I'm gonna go through some YA books and how I found them. It's used but it's in really good condition. The Serpent Shadow by Rick Riordan, book three in the Kane Chronicles. My biggest goal in 2017 is to read this series and the other Rick Riordan series. Also on the theme of Rick Riordan, I bought books two, three, and four in paperback. They're not in perfect condition. Like the spines are kind of worn in a little bit. Finally got Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Caddy Tastic's like favorite book. She always talks about how she finished it and she went back to the first page and read it again. I just love those kind of books. It's it's gorgeous. There's like a map on the inside. I'm ready to read more gay ships. Woohoo! So this is Empire of Storms. Not a new release anymore. Um, I've heard a lot of things. First of all, the inside cover is a spoiler and I didn't know that and I saw it. And my friend who is caught up, I was like asking her who is this because I was like all I know is Kale and Dorian. All I've read through is Air of Fire. But these pages are thinner. Not a fan. I like big books and I do not lie. City of Heavenly Fire is a great example. If you're doing thin pages, like that's fine, but the whole series has to be consistent. Through the Dark I got for my birthday in September. I'm so happy. Um, this is one that I got to read right away after I got it. I was very happy about that. So I did review this already. I love Alexandra Bracken, currently reading Passenger. Okay, the next one is Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy. The day this came out, I went to Target. It's not on the shelf. And they were like, we forgot to put it out. And I was like, Mike, no. Oh, look at the dark artifices. I can't wait until there's two of them. Right now I'm listening to City of Heavenly Fire. It's great. This I got so long ago. It must have been over the summer. It's Tiger's Voyage, book three of The Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hewick. I have book one and I haven't read it. I don't have book two, and I bought book three. Where's the logic? I got books one through three in Heroes of Olympus. Book one, The Lost Hero. Book two, The Son of Neptune. And book three, The Mark of Athena. I love these covers. I remember when this came out. That was like sixth grade, and my friends were reading it. And I was like, oh, I'll catch up. <laughs> what is it, six years later now? I <laughs> still haven't caught up. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> I bought The Eye of Minds by James Dashner. I love the first Maze Runner and I feel like he does a good job like creating the world. Also by James Dashner, The Fever Code. Really upset that it's different from the first four books. Three, sorry. Yeah, four. Because the other four have like a different font and stuff, but at least it's the same size. The metallic, like that's not in the first four, but now it doesn't match. Yellow, yellow is a great color. You used to have yellow hair throwback. So I can't read this because I haven't read The Kill Order yet. I will get to her eventually. Anyways, I read a synopsis of this and I found out Thomas's real name and I was like, oh, spoilers! But it's my fault. I should have read The Kill Order by now. But it's hard because I read The Maze Runner like three years ago. Another new release was Wayfarer by Alex Bracken. Oh, I've never opened this before. Look at that gold. And this is signed. I got it um, in the mail sign, so not that exciting. I mean, I got a little other surprise too. Pathfinder, a Rose Linden story. This is so nice. It's a little sampler. I got really distracted by all the pretty things. It was really hard for her to write, so I'm interested to know like what was going on in this book and like what made it so challenging for her. I just can't believe how many books she's come out with because it still feels like, oh, Alex Bracken, who's she? She's new, but she's not. These next books I got at my library sale, so people donate books and then they sell them for like a quarter. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Again, recommended to me in the sixth grade. Never forgot it. <laughs> like, it's like I can't forget about it until I read it. It's like a curse. This one's adorable because it has a border sticker on it. I also found the second book by Libba Bray. It's called Rebel Angels. Then I found Fire by Kristen Cashore. It's not a sequel, but they're in the same universe to Graceling and Bitter Blue. I was so excited when I saw this used and I was like, oh, it's so great. It's gonna match Graceling. So here's my copy of Graceling. It doesn't have a flap. This one has a flap. What? What? The fact that the spines don't match and we have the logo here 
Really annoying. You thought I already hauled so many books? Yeah, I'm like halfway done, guys. Last book haul, I had a ton of Lemony Snicket books, and I have more. I have a lot of All the Wrong Questions. This is book two. It's When Did You See Her Last? I've only read the first one, but it was excellent. Book three is Shouldn't You Be in School? Book four is Why Is This Night Different from All Other Nights? That is one of the questions that you ask on Passover. Oh, I think there's four questions on Passover. And this is the fourth book. <laughs> All right, so the past six months, I also bought the Shatter Me trilogy, which I'm so happy to own. Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls. This is by Lynn Wingerton. I don't want to know what this is about yet. This book, I probably would have never gotten. The National Book Award finalist, like, I don't take that lightly. But what really sold me was when I looked it up on Goodreads and no review, but Alexandra Bracken gave it five stars. So I'm looking forward to it. Yay! This book, it was all over uh, Book Outlet. I don't know why. Maybe just because they had so many copies. But um, it's called Almost Famous Women. Oh my gosh, I just love that. It looks like someone wrote it in Sharpie. Like, that's the kind of font I'm looking for. Like, Taylor's from 1989. Like, yes. Oprah Magazine, that's a really big deal. By Daniel Handler, I have We Are Pirates. Superb, written with an unflinching eye for comedy and horror. Yep, that sounds like Daniel Handler. This book is all the hype lately. It's 13 Reasons Why. The map is on the inside. Next I have Soundless by Rochelle Mead. The author of Vampire Academies came out with this book. Book! Reading! Yay! Why did my transition suck so much? More Happy Than Not by Adam Silver. I read this in December and I did review it for you, I believe. I might have filmed it but not uploaded it. So I actually did finish this, is my, the point that I'm trying to make. History is all you left me. I had the arc of this, I gave it away. So I read the arc and I really loved it. I would not be against reading it again. Will that actually happen? Probably not. An Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Oh my gosh. She always has typography on point and she always has IRL people modeling. Another new release, in my opinion. <laughs> Furthermore by Tahira Mafi. This is a middle grade book by the author of Shatter Me. There's so much going on in this cover. I don't know anything about this. Next by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. It's Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List. This is a fantastic movie that's on Netflix starring Victoria Justice and Matthew Daddario. I love Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist and I love this movie so freaking much. And I love how him and Rachel Cohn, they do a great job with dual points of view because they both like will write specifically one character and the chapters go back and forth. It's very pretty. I'm very happy with this book if you can tell. This book uh, I kept seeing but I was like nah I don't want to read it. It was not until I saw it in someone's favorites video. It's All the Bright Places by Jennifer Navin. Navin? Holding Up the Universe? Again, great reviews. So if I like this I will go on to her other book. This book is called Who is AC? It's a graphic novel. I like pictures. They're pretty. Okay, don't judge me too hard. I've wanted this for a long time. So I got it. It's Michelle Fawn's book, Makeup, Your Life Guide to Beauty Style Success Online and Off. Oh my god, me! Me! She is a great speaker. I think that's why her channel stands out. Yeah, so I really do want to hear what she has to say because she's always spreading a positive message. They changed the apple on her phone to a heart. I never noticed that before. By Maggie Stiefvater, I have the Scorpio Races. This has a big fancy award on it. That's a big deal, especially for YA. You see a lot of stuff from like other YA authors. You see a lot of broke this record, broke this record, but you don't see a lot of literary praise for actual good writing. She wrote The Raven Boys, The Raven Cycle, something like that. Some race to win, others race to survive. I like have been trying not to buy more Pretty Little Liars, but this one looks really exciting. It's like the holiday special of Pretty Little Liars. With all these short stories about A, messing around with them. It says A's making a list and checking it twice. I'm trash, goodbye. Okay, next we have An Abundance of Catherine by John Green. Again, not the best cover, not again. This is the first time I've said that. 19 Catherines and counting. Okay, Hank's wife's name is Catherine. So I don't know what the timeline was. This is not a big hype John Green book. People don't talk about it that much, so I'm really curious what's the deal, if it's any good. I will check it out sometime in my life. Um, I got Popular by Maya Van Wagenen. I saw this and I recognize it from um, a Christine video. It sounds just like the book How to Be Popular by Meg Cabot. And then last but not least, just kidding, I have two more books. I See You Glass by Cassandra Clare. This is the hardcover. First edition, I know it's first edition because the only other books 
that she had out at the time were City of Bones and City of Ashes. So that's a throwback. And you can see like the entire city. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I don't have this in a hardcover. My paperback's actually like really beat up. I have Of The I Sing by Barack Obama. A letter to my daughters. It's a picture book that I haven't read yet. Why is there a jacket if it's the same? Why do they need that? I love the back. It says, have I ever told you that America is made up of people of every kind? Here I have Hamilton the Revolution, Lin-Manuel Miranda, and Jeremy McCarter. I got this one as a present for Hanukkah for my aunt. For the record, six months. That's how long it took me to buy these. This isn't like a one month book haul. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.